And money is so hard to come by. You know, people work so hard for the money. There's a song. She worked hard for the money. And they work hard. Everybody works so hard for their money. And it's so difficult. Uh, I worked hard for the money, too, when I was a licensed contractor in the state of California. I worked hard, although I earned pretty good. But the people here, they work hard and they don't earn pretty good. So it's very difficult for the people to survive, to raise their families. And then, of course, a lot of people like to drink and smoke. I don't do that because it's a waste of my money. But a lot of people here in the Philippines, they like to smoke and drink and party. And that's another waste of the money. So it's really kind of difficult for people to survive. And that's why a lot of the people have to work abroad. They have to be OFWs and they have to work all these different countries. And mostly women, although there's some guys that go work abroad. And it's a difficult life. These people, they make a lot more money working abroad, but they're away from their families, away from their children for years and years. And they cannot experience watching their children grow up. They're out working hard and sending money home. I know a few instances where the husband is just sitting home on the couch and drinking. The pay is so small for the Filipinos, and then they gotta pay for these transportation fees. And then you have food. Food has just continued to rise all over the world. Not only the Philippines, everywhere. Food prices has gone up. It's been crazy, why? Because people have to transport the food and the price of gas goes higher. So the price of food also goes higher. Everything just sort of is connected and it's just become so expensive. And I don't know how a lot of the Filipino people can survive these days because they only make like 500 pesos a day if they're working a hard job. And then the price of everything is so high, the price of food and you know, everything. It's a difficult life for the Philippines. You know, the people just have a difficult life here. And then they have a lot of natural disasters, typhoons they have to deal with. And it's just really hard. And you know, that's one of the reasons why the Filipino people are so resilient. They go through all these difficulties in life and these challenges. And of course, the whole world has the challenge of rising prices. In America, the prices of gasoline has tripled. So all over the whole world, people are suffering. They're experiencing this difficulty in life. It's not only the Philippines, it's everywhere. The price has rose for everything. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Talking money, it's a difficult life and we hope things can improve. You know, the prices of materials seem to always go up and food and everything. It just seems it's very difficult once a price goes up for it to go down again. But that's what we need. We need the prices to go down. And also we need the wages of people to go up because it's difficult to eat on old wages. And hopefully that the economy can flourish in the Philippines. They can have some more investors and things need to continue to get better. But you people are strong and you're resilient. And that's just the fighting spirit. You know, you have to be a fighter in this world. You have to be a survivor and you just have to do your best. You have to be smart with your money. You can't just throw your money away. Yes!